Okay, I think one of the most scary things people don't want to come to China is because of the food. So eating out can get quite pricey in China. So you're probably going to have to go to a supermarket. And in China, there are some big supermarkets with a variety of foreign foods, but also some Chinese spices and everything. Today, a new metro opened very close to my apartment, so we are going to explore it together. Metro is like a Walmart. It is a big supermarket. I'm excited to explore it with you today. Let's go. Okay, so this is the metro. It looks pretty big. So let me get a trolley and let's go explore. This is huge. So far I don't see any food, so I don't think this metro is only about food. But being from South Africa, you know, barbecue is pretty big there, we call it braai. So it's already making a great first impression having this here. Let's go see what else they've got. Okay, so now that we are like kind of walking through the kitchen appliances, let me tell you this funny story. Emma, my cameraman, also my roommate, right? Her sister came to visit us and we were at work. She literally went through our cupboards and saw how expensive is the stuff that we bought. She called her mom, then her mom called Emma and shouted at Emma because why do we spend so much money on food, like bagels and stuff? But I mean, hey, I am a foreigner, I love Chinese food, but sometimes, you know, I miss my mom's cooking. I, I miss South African foreign food. So me coming to a place like Metro, it makes me happy. It makes the balance of me being really happy in China, eating my rice, but also eating my bagels or my pancakes. Chinese people drink hot water like literally every day, as you know. Here, I have no idea what this button means. Actually, it's fun to buy things that are in Chinese because you just figure it out as you go. You press this button and see what happens. And then you press that button and you see what happens. It's exciting. It's never boring in China. Bringing some traditions, not just plain old white plates. I don't know, like you guys are you plate geniuses, but can you tell me like all these actually like China Chinese plates? Like would you see this in like your Chinese markets wherever you are? <laughs> Look, this is literally what Chinese people will do. They would take the pan and then you would like imagine if you're in the in the kitchen. You'd be flopping in and testing it. Oh, it feels good. A little bit too heavy though, a little bit too heavy. Ooh, here we got some chopsticks. It's actually weird, right? Like I'm used to buying knives and forks. And since I've been living in China, I just buy chopsticks all the time. Talking about chopsticks, I think I need some new chopsticks for the apartment because we've been using ours a while. So even though you wash them, you know, need some new ones. I think this one doesn't look bad. Only 16 RMB has like a few sets in there. So let me take one. Oh, here we got shampoo. Hmm. So yes, I usually use head and shoulders. So look, as you can see, there is a lot of even like head and shoulders to choose from. And I'm pretty sure the product you use is right here. So if it is here, please let me know. Um, if it isn't, what do you use? Because I'm pretty sure you can't find it in China. But yeah, a lot of things. Let me tell you, if you come to a Chinese supermarket the first time, make sure you have like the Google Translate app. Because even though it's in Chinese, sometimes you don't know and you can just quickly translate to make sure this is indeed the product that you need. You know what I actually love coming to the supermarket? is I'm always interested to see how many people, how many Chinese people come to supermarkets like this. And then I like love to kind of sneak into their trolleys to see 
what they buy, what they need from like a foreign supermarket like this. So let's see how many Chinese people we're gonna find. It's a Monday afternoon though, so it's a little bit quiet, but let's see. Huh. Another thing about China, if you didn't know, they are plastic crazy. Like they would put your Coke in a plastic cup, in a plastic, in another plastic, and put your straw in seven types of different plastics. Like really, a lot of plastic, but also if you don't like washing dishes, at least you have a lot of plastic. So like just eat out and throw away after you've used it. And here for the men, there are a lot of options as well. A lot of shaving stuff for you. By the way, I saw a video the other day, even if you're a woman watching, if you shave, don't shave with like normal, you know, bathing soap or your shampoo or whatever. Because it, the video they showed is like, it, it's really bad. It like scrapes against the hair and that's where you get rashes. So they said, even women, we should shave like with shaving cream. So I'm going to actually try that because the video made it look really smooth. So we got here, we've got packs of two for 54, but it looks like it's on special for 40 RMB. Hmm, it's my lucky day. Let's go shaving cream. By the way, if you've ever used shaving cream, please let me know if it's like more smooth, especially if you're a woman and you like shave your legs. And then like here is a lot of like uh, washing powder and bathroom stuff, but I don't need anything today. But yeah, they've also got a lot of options right here. But please make sure you use your Google Translate because I have before used my toilet, like it was a toilet powder and I used it as washing powder. So please make sure your Google Translate works. Oh, this is like heaven to me because <laughs> I really was like scared. They're not gonna have like Coke Zero, for example, in China. Why I thought that, I don't know. But yeah, I love to buy some Coke Zero sometimes when I do want it and some kind of juices. Cause I mean, drinking stuff is very important. Oh, these are my favorite. <laughs> These are like small little chocolate milks. So delicious and not that unhealthy. Maybe I should put one in, let me put one in. Let me spoil myself today. Oh wow, look here. They even got like these vitamin drinks. So you don't need to buy vitamins, you can just buy these and like drink it like a shot every day. You know, if you're trying to get off the alcohol, just play a fake drinking game with vitamin shots. Ooh, some Red Bull for the energy seeking, high heart rate seeking people out there. I don't like Red Bull that much though. Ooh, I think this might be my favorite part for all the wine drinkers out there. But they have a lot of variety of wines. Look how cool is this, look. This looks so fancy. Ooh, I'm definitely drinking a glass of wine tonight. And it's not that expensive. Oh wow, they have a great war wine. Maybe you can drink it and like transform yourself to go to the great war. <laughs> I love how they put the wine section right here and then like two meters away, it's like, the water section is like I'm telling you the supermarket is testing your values people like are you going to be healthy and hydrated or are you going for the red wine the deliciousness choices people every day you have to make important choices oh wow they got beers how cool is this look at this big Heineken beer and it's like 123 RMB and it's not just like Chinese brands, like these are proper foreign brands. A hazelnut brown nectar. Oh, wow. Again, they are giving you a lot of options, with especially the alcohol. <laughs> like I literally just went for a jog and now you need to make healthy decisions and all I want is a beer. Emma, do you want a beer? No? Are you trying to be healthy? 
She's trying to be healthy. Oh, but we haven't even gotten to the food section yet. So China is definitely known for their spices and everything they use in stuff. So just look at all these like oils and seasoning. I'm pretty sure most of these things are like soy sauce, but different types of soy sauce. Which I thought you only use soy sauce for sushi, by the way, but apparently you use it for everything here in China. Just look at all these sauces. You know what I love? I love how big is like the Chinese oil section and then look how small is the foreign section. <laughs> it's like, you got some honey and mustard and you got some Caesar salad dressings, but that is what I like. Like these are the things that most foreigners use, but then you also have like this variety of Chinese options. So you really can go 50-50. You don't have to be tired of Chinese food and you know, you don't also just have to use foreign foods because you are in a different country learning their culture, trying different foods. It's an exciting life. Fusilli. That sounds Italian. <laughs> but yeah, they got so many noodles and so many different flavors. Like you really don't have to be scared if you don't like spicy food. They have everything. Some cheese ramen. Oh, that sounds good. And then they also have like the normal Chinese noodles. By the way, really good. You should try like different ones and see which one you like. But usually, if you don't like spicy, don't go near the orange and the red ones because those ones will probably make your nose and other places burn <laughs> for the whole day. Oh, aren't these those dry hot pots? Oh, so let me tell you about this. This is one of the most amazing things because I love to go for picnics with my friends. So this, you buy it like this. You only need normal water, like you buy a bottle of water and then when you're ready to eat on your picnic, you just throw the water in. It boils by itself. How? I don't know, but it does. You throw water in, you close it and it just boils for like 10 minutes. There's something chemical at the bottom. Oh, some like chemicals? Yeah. Like oh. Met, met the water oh, yeah, because the previous time I used it, we just threw in water and it just started boiling. Okay, so there's some chemicals in here. But yeah, definitely give this a try. And Heidi Lao, that is like one of the most famous hot pot brands here in China. You'll find it like probably in every single city. Oh, here we got some teas and some coffee. So again, before I came to China, I never knew China was that like in love with tea. But I've learned so much about tea during my time here. But again, so we got tea here. I still don't drink that much tea as I'm supposed to, but yeah, coffee is just like, it attracts me more. Like look at all this delicious bags of coffee. I can just smell it. The mocha, the espresso. Yeah, I'm definitely a coffee lover. Let me know if you're a coffee or tea lover. Let's see who wins that race. You know what I actually won one day, by the way, whoever's watching this and loves me, I want a coffee maker maybe for my birthday. You have like nine months to save because my birthday is in December. So maybe you can buy me a coffee machine. Oh, they even got like champagne. South Africa. Hi. So here, this is my country, people. Welcome to South Africa. So we got some green cape. Wow. Not a lot. We got some white wines, some red wines. Wow. You don't even have to go to South Africa, although you do, because Cape Town is absolutely breathtaking. See, this is where it gets dangerous. The chocolate. Look at all the varieties. Is this a lolly? Yeah. That is huge. How do you eat? You can have anything I think I just have to lick it for like an hour. Play some squid games, you know, lick it until <laughs> it breaks and then you die. <laughs> oh, they have Kit Kat. My mom loves Kit Kat. Mother, if you're watching this, don't worry. A few more months, then you're coming to China. You can eat this every day, Ma. Every day. These are the things like Emma's sister and Emma's mom will not allow us to have in the house because it's too expensive. Oh, wow. These are like the ones I have in my house probably every week because they are like small look here so you can just like have one a day and you don't have to control yourself to not like eat the whole bar here we got different types of spaghetti do not ask me what types please because I do not know I'm telling you now 
but yeah they have like the long ones and the shallow ones and the twisty ones <laughs> so if you like difficult when it comes to which ones you like or prefer again all the options are here and then you got some these are probably chinese type oh buckwheat never tried buckwheat noodles it looks healthy and healthy things are not always that delicious <laughs> but maybe need to give it a try but yeah i really have a lot of options here this looks like toothpicks <laughs> literally look <laughs> someone for some long toothpick spaghetti because i think really like eating some nuts every day is good for you some almonds maybe i should try it 100 rmb let me try so big even some of vietnam oh that's what i wanted to talk to you guys about as well like when you go travel like in thailand or vietnam you're always going to go like these small supermarkets but there's not going to be a lot of options which is what i like and prefer about china is like they don't have small supermarkets they have the really big ones with all these options in them where if you go to thailand you only have a few options of what you would like you know like for example 7-eleven or their local ones where here there's a lot of foreign foods that can really make your life more cheap and also more enjoyable with your foreign foods that you prefer oh here we got some british cookies or shall i say biscuits in the uk you call these biscuits not cookies it's secret what is in here is a secret so i cannot share with you otherwise i'm going against metro's policy you have to come to china and buy it yourself what about this tin of cookies tells you that it is chinese cookies you guessed that it. it's because it says chinese cookies <laughs> that's how you know <laughs> oh i definitely need some chicken wings let's buy some wings Oh, these are like sp a little bit spiced. Don't, that looks good. I don't want some drumsticks. Let me get some wings. I just decided this year I want to challenge myself a little bit. So I've been jogging a lot. So I'm trying to be more healthy, but also like choose my foods better with some more protein. So here I see they got some tuna. Let me try tuna. I think we should do these tuna chunks in water. Yeah, not in oil. Yeah, we don't want oil. Let's do water. Okay, how many? Let's get two or three. Okay, let's do two first, right? Okay. Per week, I think, is enough. One, and then we can eat two times. Okay. So, China is also kind of known for their meat markets. The meat markets are not dirty. It's really not dirty. It is just something to get used to because it's like the meat is like hanging outside and stuff like that. But... My mom, for example, will not go near there yet. She just needs some time to get used to it. So like coming to a supermarket like this and buying her steaks and stuff is more expensive, but more easier for her to enjoy her shopping. Oh, here we got a lot of frozen foods. Hey. If you are Chinese and you are watching this, for interest sake, can you please let us know like what what kind of foreign foods do you like to eat the most? And then you also got the processed cheese already ready for you. Ooh, some blue cheese. The thing is, I don't like to eat blue cheese like this, but I love a blue cheese burger. It's like some people don't like tomatoes, but they like tomato sauce, so do not judge me. <laughs> Holy, look at this big cheese. <laughs> What the? How big is this thing? Oh, wow. 3 kg. <laughs> we don't have the biggest fridge in the world, so I don't even think it's gonna fit in our freezer. We got some big butters. Holy moly, I've never seen a big butter like this. Here we got just some normal plain yogurt. Oh, here, we need this. So here, I know in China they have like the strawberry yogurt, which is, again, not that unhealthy. So definitely getting one of them. 
some yogurt with our muesli. Welcome to Sea World, people. <laughs> Again, this is so interesting for me about China. Like, this is not in South Africa where everything is just there. Here, yeah, it's like you're at the aquarium. <laughs> One time, me and Emma, we wanted to try these shrimps, exactly these, and we bought some and we thought they're gonna kill it for us, and they said no. So we had to literally YouTube and kill it ourselves. That was literally one of the most traumatic experiences I've ever had in my life. It was horrible. I'm never doing that again. So I don't know how people can take that home and kill it at home. But yeah, some fresh fish for you. I cannot do that. I cannot buy a fish that's staring at me like that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they just kill it right here for you. But uh, we are not buying a fish because I did not want to see a fish get murdered. Emma, crabs are expensive. 410 per kg. You gotta be pretty rich to buy a crab. But anyway, this thing is huge. Oh, here we got the vegetable market side, like with all the fruits and the vegetables. Before we like even search any further, I'm here to tell you, do not buy vegetables or fruits from a supermarket like this. You are going to pay your whole month's salary for that. Vegetable markets, fruits, they are one of the cheapest things actually in China so never buy it here always go to a vegetable market or just buy it from a fruit stand which will be in the roads a lot of the time those fruit also very fresh and much cheaper oh we got some french fries hey in ones emma do you want french fries we can't buy a one like this because it's not gonna fit in our freezer because I think me and Emma both teach, always when we come home at night, we are pretty hungry, right? Yeah. So just to put like some french fries in the air fryer, quite good. Yeah, like for example, these apples just look way too fancy. No, China is not made for this. Just go to a vegetable market, it's really much cheaper and also just as fresh, really. Oh, this is my favorite part about going to a Chinese supermarket this because they always have free testers so I always go to a supermarket hungry because most Chinese supermarkets have these testers so let's see what can we test today hopefully there will be some testers otherwise I'm going to be a little bit disappointed in this supermarket because this is literally my favorite part no testers today but maybe the supermarket doesn't have let's see next time when I come hopefully they'll have but tonight they don't have yeah, some banana bread. <laughs> Do you want one? Just take it because it looks like you're gonna cry. So can you please just take it? <laughs> uh, oh, wraps. Do we still have wraps? Oh wow, look how big is the supermarket, like actually now, because I mean this video was pretty long, right? But I don't know if you can see how far it is down there. But yeah, and this is my other favorite part about China, is there are no queues, even though there's not a lot of people here today, you can just scan quickly, pay and bye bye You have to wait in a line for a cashier to scan your food. Oh, look here, they got some free ice. So China can get pretty hot sometimes and you can't really find ice a lot of places. So you can get ice here, throw it in a cool bag and have like a fun day with your friends. Oh, that's nice. Some crushed ice slushies or something. We were so impressed with this metro that we are going to get a 
card for Metro now because I think we will probably come here a lot. This place has literally everything we need and it is huge and it's like one kilometer from our apartment. So definitely gonna get a card and can get some discount next time. We are still here waiting for the card and I just saw a woman with the ice that I just told you about. They actually put ice in a bag to then keep your things frozen until you get home. <laughs> so I do not think it is for you to drink. Maybe you can put it in a cooler box, but I don't think you can make a crushed ice slushy with it. So please don't listen to me. <laughs> can someone please tell me why is that bag moving? Please don't tell me they bought some fish or something. Oh no. So I am living with a Chinese, so our cupboards are full of like Chinese amphora and stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.